Should we abandon Brexit? Oh boy, this is going to be a contentious one. Uh, look, there has been no shortage of or a respite from rancorous debate uh, between the militant advocates of Brexit and the so-called remoners, <laughs> those that are angry that we left and, and want to return. The former uh, say that we're better off out of Europe, even though it's been a difficult transition period, uh, while those who defend remaining uh, I wish we could cancel the whole operation. And they say that the cost has been unacceptable, and of course, I look at both sides. Okay, first of all, let's look at those who say, yes, we should cancel Brexit. We should abandon it because it was a big mistake, and we should do so while there's still time to do something about it. Uh, first of all, uh, there's been quite a big negative impact on trade. Uh, there's been a decline in exports to the various uh, countries of Europe. Uh, there have been uh, delays that we all know about in getting lorries across the channel and through the various barriers that are now required by law and the resulting awful congestion. We never had this before Brexit and it's now at unacceptable levels. If you've been to Dover, <laughs> you know what I mean. Second, we are now treated like pariahs in Europe. Uh, we have extra procedures to go through with customs, with passport control, health insurance arrangements. It makes for unpleasant visits. Who needs that? Uh, it has contributed to labor shortages in many business sectors as EU workers have uh, returned home. They don't have the freedom of movement anymore and Industry has, uh, in many cases, suffered substantially from this. For those who benefited from EU funding uh, for their various research projects, farm programs and the like, the loss has been substantial. Reversal of Brexit would be a, a welcome change. Uh, and uh, Boris uh, put his reputation as Prime Minister on getting Brexit done. So it soon became clear that there would never be any challenging or rethink on this subject until he was gone. Well, he will be gone shortly and such questioning can now begin. The question of whether or not resuming a relationship with the EU is legally possible is an academic one and seems to have been kind of hijacked by the so-called experts. The fact is that in Britain, Parliament is supreme and can do anything it desires. If we decided that it was in our best interest to construct a change relationship with the EU, it could do so. So, what's the bottom line here? We should stay in some acceptable form and stop the pain. Well, what about those uh, who say no, we should not. We should not abandon Brexit. Well, uh, they, they would say stay with the program even though it present, it, uh, it, it does appear to be painful. So uh, what are their arguments? Well, to begin with, uh, and perhaps uh, quite importantly, the alternative of staying in Europe is unacceptable because of the incompetence, corruption, and ineptitude on the part of the EU. Uh, I'll have more to say about this below. Uh, from the start, uh, Britain has been a net contributor to the EU project. That is, in case it is not clear to everyone, Britain puts in more than it gets out. And that would be the permanent situation were we to rejoin, a permanent financial burden on this nation. Why should we bail out countries that can't manage their own affairs? That's really the significance of that. Um, the EU is a corrupt organization with huge salaries and gold-plated index-linked pensions something we, we should not be supporting. It has failed to get a clean audit opinion from its auditors for the last several decades. If that happened to a public company, both the management and the board would be sacked, but not the EU. What, what does that tell you about what kind of an organization it is? Blaming Britain's current malaise on Brexit is biased oversimplification. Uh, the nation has been beset by labor shortages from COVID, the energy price calamity from the war in the Ukraine, and the rudderless government of Boris Johnson. And uh, let's have a look at history. The continent of Europe 
has for the last thousand years been by far the most warlike part of the world. Nearly every country has invaded nearly every other country at one time or another and has been doing so for centuries. Uh, so it's understandable that they need an artificial device like the EU to keep each other at bay. Island Britain is not in that position and does not have to sacrifice its sovereignty to stop the warfare. We just don't want to be a part of that devil's bargain. Uh, next, it's a foolish idea anyway, because it cannot be reversed. The law is the law, and furthermore, it was put into action by a referendum of the population who decided that Brexit was what we wanted. It is cast in stone. And I might say the very future of the EU is in question because of the catastrophic mistake of adopting the Euro. Eventually, Germany uh, will tire of bailing out Spain and Italy, and the effect of that, when they actually do abandon the Euro, will be catastrophic economically. It's coming. In some Brexit has cost us dear, but rejoining the EU would be even worse. Well, what's my take on this rather unfortunate situation uh, for which there are really are no easy answers? There's no question in my mind that the impact of Brexit has been damaging. Uh, my guess is, however, that we will and probably should uh, negotiate some sort of face-saving agreement with the EU, like associate membership or something like that, one that continues to provide financial support but retains sovereignty over things like human rights laws, border control, industrial reg regulation, that kind of thing. The EU will uh, resist, fearing others will want the same, but we may be able to persuade them that the alternative is far worse for them. Uh, it's worth a try, and I believe we will make an attempt. And by the way, if uh, in any of the solutions to this problem, the Irish border stands in the way of an acceptable uh, outcome, it might be best to divest this perennially troublesome place from the UK. Let it become an independent nation or part of the Republic of Ireland. They have been a costly problem for too long. Phew. Well, how many of you have I upset this time? In any case, uh, for those that I haven't, I uh, uh, hope you'll respond accordingly. And please subscribe and take a look at some other similar uh, videos that I've uh, put up. And thanks a lot. Bye-bye.